Hello, can you hear me? Hi, can you hear me? Yes, Hi, sure. teacher. How are you? What happened? I was, I was inside and um, I couldn't hear you. I couldn't see anybody. I can hear you loud and clear, teacher. No, no, but like one minute ago, I, I was at eight and I was alone in the, in the room. Um, <laughs> something's wrong with the, with the yeah. Zoom. And somebody wrote on the chat, Moises, you couldn't come in, right? I can't join the meeting too, me too. Merlin? Me, me too. You couldn't join? Yes, I have a problem. Because I I I connected with my internet and I enjoying that that the group. Maybe I have a problem with that. And I, I in a, one moment I have a lost the internet and they lost that meeting. Oh okay. Maybe the internet was bad. There you go. Okay, we're all in. So, how was your Tuesday? It was a normal day for me. Because okay. I stay in my house, in my house, and I doing that. I didn't different things in my house. Okay, that's good. <laughs> what about you, Moises? Hello, teacher. Hello, uh, classmates. In my case, I have two lessons in the morning and one uh, training. What is the word for entreno? Training. Training in the, in the afternoon. And I have some things to, uh, to grade. Calificar? Grade, yes. Things to grade. And that's all. Very, very uh, easy day. Uh, well, in the at the at the end of the afternoon, I went to the the work of my girlfriend, el trabajo de mi novia. Yes. <clears throat> Go for for her and take it to her to her home. Okay. Where does yeah. she work? What? Where does she work? Uh, she works at Fis de L. Okay. Yeah. Oh, but you work from home, correct, Moises? You don't work in the, in the school. I am that's working at home, online. Wow. Yeah. Is, it, is it difficult to teach physical education online? Yes, it is because... Uh, Kids don't want to do it. It is like science. My lesson uh, has to be like science was talking about uh, muscles and if you have to grow your muscles, you have to eat something and you have to train uh, 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 unless three times a week and so and so and so and other things. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. It's complicated in, in some cases. In, when, in, in normal days in the school, we have a, a lot of things to to teach, we, we have uh, equ equipment to teach archery, to teach uh, cricket, uh, football. Oh, okay. football. But you can't do that in this moment, right? Yes, a lot of sports. But today, we only have a uh, rope to jump rope, uh, yoga mat to, to, make, to do exercise in the, in the floor. In, and that's all. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Oh, I see that. Mm -hmm. um, I saw a new person here right now, Jose Mariano. No, yeah, Jose Ramirez. Hello. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Jose, were you in class yesterday? No, I, I couldn't. Oh, okay. Hi, sir, welcome. 
Thank you. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? What do you do? And tell okay. the class an interesting fact about yourself. Okay, I, I worked in a warehouse of the Nestle Enterprise. Oh, really? That's in Ilopango, right? Uh, now it's in, in Sacacoyo. It's, it's, it's near to Lourdes, Colón. Oh, okay. Yes. They uh, move it. And where do you live? I, I live in Lourdes, Colón. Oh, okay. That's good. Yeah. Um, because imagine yeah. if you lived in Soyapango. Oh, man. Yeah, the, there are uh, people that uh, travel to Soyapango to the enterprise every day. But the uh, in the enterprise uh, give you day, uh, yeah, you know, transportation. Oh, okay. Yeah. Or or the carpool. Do you what? know what is carpool? No. Sorry. Carpool is like when you live far where you work, like, okay, let's say like, imagine you have friends, co-workers that live in Soyapango and you work in Lourdes. So this week they take your car. Next week, your friend's car. Next oh. week is carpool. Carpool. <laughs> no, car, pool, P-O-O-L. Pool. Mm-hmm. Okay. So yeah, it's, it's it's something very common, carpool. It's like you give a ride to your friends. Yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting. It's an in, intelligent uh, thing to travel every day. And using uh, the cars, uh, all the, of the, they have the capacity. Capacity. Give, yeah, people. Yes. Okay. Okay, class, do you see my screen? Yes. Yes. All right, let's pay attention to this video and see what it what it is about. Okay, we're going to start. Hold on, let me see if I can shift the screen. Jose, Evaristo, and Neftali, you don't have a camera? Yes, I have a camera. Okay, thank you. There. Yes, if you have a camera, please turn it on because um, Insoport wants, that's how they check if you are, if you attended the class. All right. Okay, let's watch the video. Hello. Hello. We're about to begin a new course. Can you we hear? want you to keep on learning. So stay and watch the first yes, interview. Yes, yes. Okay. Hey guys, you're not going to believe this. I just heard a story about this campground. What do you mean? What about it? I was just at the bathhouse. I had taken a shower and was brushing my teeth when this woman came in with her daughter. She, she was telling her the story, so I listened in. What's so interesting about this old campground? It isn't scary, is it? Because scary stories freak me out. Don't be such a chicken, Molly. Come on, Ellen, tell us the story. Well, this all took place many years ago. Before it was turned into a campground, this land had been a farm. It was owned by a young couple named Theodore and Dolly McShane. Mr. McShane had inherited the land from a relative. So, what's so scary about that? I thought this was supposed to be a spooky story. I'm getting to that, just wait. The McShanes were wonderful people. Friendly, sociable, everybody loved them. And they really, really loved each other. Everybody could see it. 
When they were walking down the street together, they always held hands. When he was working in the fields, he always picked her wild flowers and brought them home to her in the evening. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet. Oh no, then something bad happened, right? Yes. One day, as Theodore was coming home from town, he saw smoke in the distance. It had been a very hot, dry summer, so fires were a real danger. And was there a fire at the farm? Yes. And as he was hurrying down the road, the smoke was getting thicker and thicker, blacker and blacker. All he could think about was his wife. But by the time he got home, the house was completely in flames. He screamed Dolly's name over and over, but she didn't answer. She was in the house? She died in the fire? Yes. It was a terrible tragedy. What happened then? Our man went crazy. He refused to believe that Dolly had died. For months, he searched for her. He walked all day and night through the countryside and through the town, searching, searching. And in his hands, he always carried a bouquet of wild flowers for his poor, dead, bride. So how did it turn out? What finally happened to him? That's the spooky part. It's a mystery. People saw him less and less. And then Theodore McShane just disappeared. No one ever saw him again. But the people who live here say he still walks the forest at night looking for his lost bride. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you ladies. I was making my rounds and wanted to see if everything is all right. Yes, a park ranger, of course. Yes, everything's fine. Ellen was telling us a spooky story when you came by. Campfire stories, huh? That's always fun. Well, okay then, I'll let you get back to it. Thanks for checking on us, and sorry about the screams. Oh, that's okay. I'm used to it. Hey, in the morning, you ladies should take a look down that path. There's a field full of wildflowers in there in bloom right now. Very pretty. Oh, that's good to know. We'll do that, thanks. Here's some for you to enjoy. In case you need anything, I'll be at the ranger station. Thanks again. Oh, what's your name? I'm Ted, Theodore. Really? But my friends call me Ted. Ted McShane. You have a good night. Okay, did you understand the story? Yes. That was like a Jason, <clears throat> Friday the 13th story, right? Yeah. So who was, who, who do you think was that security for that policeman? Who do you think that policeman was? Uh, he was to share the, the name of the story. I think. Yes, a man. So maybe he was a ghost or a crazy man. Yes. And, and uh, he, he, he had in, 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 the, in his hand the wild flower that the girl says in the story. Yes. Yes, it's true. Um, hello, Wendy, Gabriela, Jose. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, nice Good to meet you. Teacher. Hi. Um, do you have cameras that maybe you can turn on? If you uh, do, yes. if you do, please, sir, because 
Info Corp is requiring this. Okay, let's see the grammar that we're going to see today. Okay, we're going to learn today about time clauses. It says, in this class, participants will, will listen to a conversation where time clauses are used in context. So how were you like when you were younger? Listen to the conversation and find out what made Carol and Alan change. I was really immature. Part A. Listen and practice. So what were you like when you were younger? I'm sorry, can you see? No. Well, no. until I graduated, I'd never had any no, important he is. responsibilities. But then I went off to college. I know what you mean. I was really immature when I was a teenager. So what made you change? I think I became more mature after I got my first job and moved away from home. Once I had a job, I became totally independent. Where did you work? I worked for my dad at the bank. Another turning point for me was when I got my dog, Pepper. I know that sounds silly, but it was really important to me. Why was that so important? Well, I was about 11. I remember that having a dog, you know, he was mine, made me feel really responsible in a funny kind of way. He would follow me everywhere and was always waiting for me when I came home from school. Actually, that sounds kind of nice. I never got to have a dog, but I remember when I got my first bicycle. That was a very important day for me. For the first time, I could go out on my own and go as far as I wanted to. I used to polish the bicycle every day and take really good care of it. Of course, that only lasted a few months and then I lost interest in it. So what was another turning point for Carol and Alan? Okay, this is what we're going to do here. Tell me what you were like what you were like and what made you change. Um, example, um, I am 43. I am 43 years old and when I was in my 20s, early 30s, <laughs> I was crazy. I did everything, everything bad. You know, like the wildlife. And what made me change was my son. Yes, I love to be with my son. And every free time I have now is for him. Yes. Um, Wendy. Yes. Hi, do you work, Wendy? Yes, I work. Where do you work? I work, I work in STV events. I am in charge about a coordination area for events for technicians oh, and STV events. STV events. STV events. Yes. I heard it's, about that. STV is. It's an area for STV computers. Okay. We have a sales um, sales department in um, malls like uh, Plaza Mundo Popa, Plaza Mundo Zoyapango, and Salvador del Mundo. Okay. So, so are you um, are you married? No, I'm single. Okay, can you tell me how you were like in high school? Oh my God, 
in and the, the high reason school. why I asked you is because you look very young. And that's why I asked Thank you. you. So, <laughs> what were you like in Thank high school? Thank you. I, well, in the high school, I have a lot of energy for everything. I always I get... I have or I um, have? Sorry? I have or I have? I have. Have, because it's past. Oh, thank you. I had a lot of energy, but uh, in my eighth, when I was, when I was have 18 years old, I have a when lot I of was energy. 18. When, when I, I was 18. When I was 18 years old, I had a lot of energy. I always uh, get out with my friends. And right now, I always want to get at home and get asleep. Okay, what made you change? My work. Because I always have to be in the computer. I always have to be in calls and in so many events and the e and the um, i forget the word but tengo que estar en las madrugadas en los eventos i have to be early morning i have to be early morning in every event event we have okay interesting all right uh evadisto Hello, are you married? Yes. Okay, uh, I, I think we have a bad connection because I hear a lot of static. I don't know, class, do you hear static? Or is it just me? Yes, teacher. Yes. No, I heard that. Uh, oh, okay. So, Evaristo, I think we have static. I don't know, it could be your phone or maybe your earphones. Okay. But we do hear static. Yeah. And now, now it's better. All right. Um, I am Mary. Okay, you're married. Can you tell yes, me how sir. you how you were like when you were single? Um, well, uh, uh, I am. Um, I was um, responsible. You were responsible or irresponsible? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was. No. Uh, um, I think um, when I was when I was. Uh, 20, uh, uh, I, you know, uh, um, I'm very confused and so many things, you know, I think okay. in my- Okay, one thing about this though, remember, we're speaking past, not present. <laughs> so when I was 20, I was very confused. Yeah, you know, I, I was- am. I am is present. Yeah, and You're not you. 20, okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, I was very confused in so many things, you know, like, um, my identity or my, uh, I had, um, different thoughts in my life. Um, I traveled, I traveled to, um, to United States. Uh, I was, uh, when I was 20. And the problem with uh, with me is in the United States is um, I was alone without my family. Okay. And so the, um, that thing, the, the, um, it was the problem um, because uh, I didn't learn English. And I went to a school, but uh, uh, I lived with an anxiety. Um, uh, how do you say ansiedad? Oh. Anxiety. Yeah. 
um, and that's the that that was the problem. And okay. I didn't learn English, but I went to different school, but uh, I didn't learn English. So uh, I lived uh, seven years in the, in the United States. Uh, and my turning point is um, I in, I I had a I had an encounter to God in in how do, how do I say um I, let me think <laughs> um think. Think easy, think basic. Yeah. Um, so you had, you had an encounter with God. Okay? With God. And I found I found my purpose in life. Okay, good. And, and that's why I'm, um, I came or I be, become, I become um, American citizens. And the problem with my English is um, uh, I don't practice. <laughs> you don't, I don't practice. practice. I don't practice English. And, and let me see, three years, three years ago, I, I decided uh, to move out to El Salvador uh, to complete my, um, to get my bachelor degree. Okay. You know, do, do you, do you know that um, um, in the United States is uh, very expensive to get the bachelor degree. Yes. And that's why I, I'm here in El Salvador to get my and bachelor what, what, what degree. What do you study? Uh, accounting. Accounting. Okay. And this year, this year, uh, I think um, in the middle of these years, I will graduate. Oh, good, good for you. Yeah, and maybe at the end of this year, I, I, I move out to the United States oh, again. And that's why I'm here to learn English, but uh, it's, it's, it's very difficult to me. But uh, the, oh, uh, you need to just practice. Yeah, okay, good. That's, good for you. That's, uh, um, I have to, I have to practice English. I know a lot of grammar, but uh, uh, in speaking, uh, I, it's my problem. Yes, I understand. I have okay. to improve my speaking. Okay, no problem. Skills. We will do that here. We will do that here. Yeah. Moises, how were you when you were a little kid? When I was a little kid, well, I, I think that I was a normal kid. Well, my energy was high, very high. I always liked to play with all the boys of the neighborhood. We, we have, a, we have, sorry, we have a, a game of cups and fields. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, you are uh, questioning me about the, my turning point? Yes. Well, in this case, no, because when you were a kid, you were this, but you know, that eventually changes. Only what made you change is like when it was something drastic, like, like uh, Evaristo's story yes. or Wendy that she used to like going out with her friends, but she changed when she started to work. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. We, we uh, like to play that game and <laughs> it was fun in some moment. Uh, there was a, a risk, Barranco. Yeah, okay. A risk and uh, playing. <laughs> one, uh, one, one, one friend was uh, persiguiendo me. How do you say it? Chasing me. Chasing me. The thing is that uh, both uh, fall to the to the risk. Oh man! <laughs> I had a, 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 a strong fall. In my case, I el pedal se me metió en la en la tibia. 
<laughs> oh, you so you're wearing a bicycle. Yes, we, we, we was in the bike. And, and what did your mother do? Did she hit you? Yes. <laughs> well, in our generation, I think that our father was very drastic because if, if we arrived to the house uh, here or, or golpeados, how do you say here? Hurt, hurt. Or hurt, uh, we, we have double, double, <laughs> double, double punishment. Punishment, that's the word, double punishment. And but, that, you know what? but you know what? I, I think I think parents today are drastic too because um when when I see me as a father, my son is four and okay. and now when he has a bicycle, I put the helmet and I put protections because I am scared. And I remember in my time, no man, I think I was like four and my father took the wheels from the bike and says, Okay, go. He just pushed me, <laughs> you know? Yes, yes. I think parents today are, are exaggerate too much. That, that was the first step in the past. When, when, you, buy, when you bought a, a, a bike, the first thing that you did was take out the, the, the hell. They're, they're called training wheels. Training wheels, yes. Uh, but now, well, I I can uh, be aware of what are you saying, but in some cases it is not the case. So I, I know fathers that are very drastic, but I know fathers and mothers that are very, very soft with their children. My my wife, she's she's extremely protective with my son, and I am more like open. You know, um, you know, my like, let's say if I park the car and it's raining a little and just from the car to the house, my wife puts everything on my son. And I said, oh, come on, man. <laughs> you know, I said, come on. But, you know, it's, but I can't, it's, it's a mother. She's protective. So when my son is alone with me, it's yeah. different. He can play in the dirt, in the mud, get dirty scratch yourself you know and it's true because when my son's playing with me and he scratches himself he doesn't cry but when he's with my wife oh, my look. and my wife tells him it's okay baby cry cry because it looks ugly uh, mm -hmm. yes in, in our in our well in the past the uh, father says to the boy to cry yeah, I remember my mom, you know, like, get down from that tree because if you don't, if you don't hit yourself in that tree, I will hit you. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Okay, Jose, how are you, sir? Hi, hi, teacher. Okay, hello. Uh, Jose, are you married? No, I'm single. How old are you, if I may ask? Jerry Knight. You are 39. How, what were you like when you were 20? When I was 20, I was working at, I can't remember when I was working. But how, are, how, how were you? Were you an, uh, a responsible man or were you a party animal? 50-50. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Sometimes uh, uh, I don't know how to describe but. I had a lot of Perry Animals friends and Perry Animals girlfriends too. <laughs> they and go sometimes, together. And sometimes I had a lot of responsible and I and I did my best. And when I was 20, I was in the college studying a lot. Okay. How are you now? Are you the same or are you more uh, the More. same 50 50 per animal and responsible per person too oh you are okay good you know um i i always wonder that because i have friends my friends are like 40 and i don't know how they do it you know hey saturday what are we gonna do let's go party my house your house and i say oh, man, i can't <laughs> 
how do you do it? I can't. I can't anymore because let's say if I drink beer, if I drink too much, the next day my body hurts for two days <laughs> or three. Really? Yes. How cool is this? Yes. You don't like exercise. No, I do. Well, uh, I can't anymore because I had an um Like five years ago, I had an accident and I fell from a roof. Oh, okay. And I dislocated my discs. Well, so what's terrible. Yeah, when I sometimes when I do a lot, and it's bad because I got fat. But when I do a lot of exercise, I get this terrible back pain. Well, well, actually, I have a schedule. On Friday, always going to the bar with my friends, and. On Monday, it's time to play basketball with my nephews. Oh, okay, that's cool. That's okay. nice. And you're single, so maybe yeah. if I were single, I still would do that. <laughs> The problem is that like, if I go out Saturday or Friday night, my son is a bomb. He wakes up at five in the morning. Like, boom. Mm, And you know, he, he jumps on me. You know, he's your happy. alarm. Yeah, he's happy he sees me. When he sees me, I am in the house because he never sees me because I go to work. So when he sees me in the house, he gets crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So cool. Okay, you're single, so you should do that. So remember, what we're practicing what we're practicing here is how I was and why I changed or how I changed. Anna. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Hello. Anna, can Hello. you? You are single, you told us, correct? Yes. Yes, but I have a lot of responsibilities. Anna, can you tell us how, how you were like when you were a teenager? Uh, when I was a teenager, um, I, I didn't have any responsibility in my life. And I went out with my friends a, a lot of time. And Where did you go? All weekend. Every weekend. Every weekend, sorry. And then... Uh, where, where did you go? Uh, I, go? I went to the cinema. I went to the park. I went to the river or beach. All right, okay. Different place visited in that moment. But now I didn't have any time with um, spend my friends. Because I have a uh, all responsibilities. Uh, maybe the first responsible in my life is I take care of my father. Uh, when my mom passed away uh, eight years ago, she told me, uh, please, to take care of your father because uh, he have a lot of problem with his, his health. And it's for this reason, I have a more time with him. Okay, so so that, that made you change the responsibilities that you have with your father. Yes, Okay. yes. But I have a big family and I try to check in the all members of my family I have a uh, 11 siblings. Uh, wow. Yes. <laughs> I have a lot of families. From my your father, father and my mom, my father, my parents, uh, they have 10, uh, 11, uh, 20 children. Uh, it's for this reason. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Your, your father and your mother, between, they had 20 children? 12 children, sorry, 12. Oh, 12. <laughs> 12, sorry, 12. When yes, I have you, a I, big I was, family. That's a record. <laughs> yes, I have. Uh, uh, maybe it's um, like a uh, traditional because my grandma, she has, uh, she had uh, 13 children. Oh my God. Yes, <laughs> maybe I think that the, that is for this reason my mom have a big family. That is old school. Nice. 
<laughs> yes. Yes, but but I have a big change in my life. Yes, it's true. It's true. Okay, let me see. What about you, Gabriela? Are you there? Yes, I'm here. So I'm sorry if I may ask, but how old are you? 24 years old. I'm oh, yes, 24 you're 24. Years old. You're 24. You told yes. me yesterday, I remember. You're a baby. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How were you like when you were in school? Mm, when I was in school, I was very active, doing exercise, very applied to the study. And I remember I liked to go out with my friends a lot every week or after uh, of the school. Where did you go? I, I like, oh, mm, to Burger King, <laughs> always. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, or oh, oh, mm, taking ice cream, la nevería, Sarita. Oh, okay, so you, here. you did good yeah, things. Like, yes. Yes, I did good things. Man, um, now I feel bad. Because everybody's saying, like, for example, Anna said, no, I used to go to the beach, to the river. Madness. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid. Well, yeah, that was terrible. I had have, I have long hair. Um, green, blue, pink, every color. And um, I used to put makeup on my eye. Wow. What? Well, I, I used to like this band, The Cure and The Patch Mode, and so it was like gothic. So when I hear when I hear Gabriela say something very nice, I think of my mother. Like, oh, I wish my son was like that when he was a little, when I was a little kid. But I was, I was crazy. Remember, I told you, I told you that um, I saw Nirvana in concert yesterday. I was 13 when I saw them, and I remember I skated. I cut class. But you know what cut class is, correct? I cut class with my friends, and we traveled maybe two hours to go to the concert. And the teachers called my mother, you know, your son did not attend. So I didn't, I, I went to my house maybe like at two in the morning and I was happy. I'm like, wow, I saw Nirvana in concert. And when I opened the door, you know, thinking my mom was asleep, I opened the door and I saw this big shoe. So yeah, I was, I was a little terrible with my mom. So Gabriela, you were a good girl. Yes, maybe, but I remember that my mother sometimes told me that um, I was a, a bad girl sometimes because um, I think um, he, she has uh, a lot of work with my sister and I because my father uh, lived in the United States a long time. So we are only with my mom. So. Uh, she lives uh, was very difficult here so um, I remember because I, I don't have had uh, responsibilities other than my studies I didn't care much about the rest but when yeah. I started to work I had to learn to take care of myself my family my money my own money and help my my parents paying the house bills so um, Yes, I become more responsible and that also allowed me to live well because now I, I can help more in my family business. Yes. I became more responsible and, and you I know, save money. And yeah. eventually, eventually the business will be yours someday. So I, I, I think that's, that's one good thing about family business because you love it. It's your business. So, yes, now it's mine. Oh, it's yours it's, now. It's mine. Yes, it's mine. Now it's mine. Yes. 
Yeah, so imagine I would love to work in my company. Yes. Yeah, so that's, that's good. All right, what about you, Neftali? Hello, Mr. Good evening. So, are, are you married, Neftali? Not yet, Mr. So not yet, so you are engaged. Sorry? Are you engaged? No, I'm... You're single. I'm single, I'm single, mister. Oh, okay. Um, do you work, Neftali? For the moment, yes, I'm working a call center. And which one? It's like a teleperformance. Oh, you work in TP? All right. What do you do there? What's your account? Um, I'm, can you repeat them? Yes, in which account are you in? I'm checking them. The calls? Okay, you work in teleperformance. Which, yes, Mr. Which account? Ah, which account? Yeah. Um, sales, sales account. Oh, okay. Um, another thing that for the moment I study in the university, I'm going to finish my career. That's saying I'm going my fifth year. Okay. And, for, and my age is 23 years old. Oh, okay, you're very young still. I can't see you very good because I mean, I see your face, but I see a big shadow. And so that's why. Okay, yeah, you're very young. Hey, good for you. You yes, work in study. How were you? How were you when you were in high school? My high school was sorry, problematic because I have to fight with them. When the when the problems in the school, some of my classmates have to bother me. They bullied and, you. Yes, they bother me, but I'm to prepare um, with an excellent grace, and I I graduated from Inframen. Okay. Um, that's to um, very relaxing, but I in my case I don't occasion any troubles or serious problems, but. I'm a tranquil boy. No, you're calm, you're easy. Calm, okay. sorry, calm. I'm a okay. calm boy. Okay, good, okay, thank you. So class, everybody yeah, had class. a, everybody used to be something, but something made you change, right? So then the grammar here is the time clause. When I was a kid, when I was single, when I was in high school, when I was, um, when I was in the United States, when I didn't work, I remember now when I didn't work, maybe life was so easy. No to response. To all of us, to all of us. <laughs> yes, I remember. Playing Nintendo, playing soccer with friends at the street. <laughs> I remember my mom, are you going to eat? What? Uh, I don't, there's a steak and oh, I'll steak again <laughs> and now <laughs> now I wish I could have that back you know like my mom saying there's your food you know she would cook it for me clean it and everything so yeah everything was easy so the people say that the first day you work is the first day of the rest of your life Here's an interesting question to um, Jose Ramirez. Yes. Hi, can you tell me how El Salvador was like before the pandemia? Okay, uh, I think the people uh, thought uh, uh, dif different and 
uh, a lot of people uh, can or uh, people was uh, unresponsible and uh, after the pandemic is uh, more responsible with the health and uh, with the for example I I hear some someone say that uh, before uh, the pandemic uh, he go out for for his work and and, and and went to the see the the soccer games uh, the, the the Barça or Real Madrid and, yes. and now uh, he think better and, and and he preferred to work a lot because uh, I don't know when uh, he 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 came to a problem uh, by the help or, or something like that in his family. Yes, 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 yes. It's true. Yeah. Who else can tell me what El Salvador was like before the pandemic? Well, Gabriela, maybe you, because you work in downtown, correct? Yes. And now downtown really is more relaxed than before, right? Mm, yes. No, because remember yes. be before the pandemic existed, downtown was always cool mm. or not. I, I think, um many people um, don't think uh, this pandemic is too um, complicated and too important to take care of your life. People don't care because you, you see in the street, in the bus, and people didn't wear a mask or I don't know. So uh, downtown is isn't um, safe. Go uh, eat ahí. I don't know how to say that. To go there. Mm -hmm. Yes, but it's necessary to me and my family. is necessary because it is it's a work, it's a job. But uh, many people just uh, like a, uh, como una diversión, algo así. It's like for fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, good. But remember, the answer I was actually looking for in Salvador before the pandemic was crazy. People, yeah, people were responsible. People, people didn't care about about their their health. There was a lot of traffic, and the city was very dirty. Well, I have a question, Gabriela. Your business is in downtown, right? Yes. Where? What part of downtown? Near? Near of the um, Sagrado Corazón de Jesus. Okay. My question is, is Elula Ula open again? No. No yet. But is it a building now? Yes. It's a building now. Oh. Yes. So, so they, Mason they, didn't lie. What? So uh, Mason didn't lie. It, it was, it's true. The, the, the hula hula. Yes, it's, it's built now. Okay. But um, I, I, I hear that the people that will stay in that market have to pay a lot of money so people don't care stay in that market oh, because it's, okay. it's, it's so expensive i think um every month they have to pay three three hundred dollars so it's very expensive because right now the um, yes the um las ventas um, sales the sales aren't good so it's, it's difficult to pay that money. Of course. Oh, 
Yeah, because I, I remember when when I didn't have a car and I had to take the bus, I I always well the bus I took was in front of Ula Ula. So I remember I frequently went to Ula Ula to eat tortas. Because uh, yeah. because it was famous for that. And I haven't gone back since then. <laughs> so I think if I go to downtown one day and everything is different, I'm going to be like, wow, boy, I remember this. <laughs> but $300, wow. Yes. I see that there's it's a lot of expensive. there's a lot of Chinese people in downtown now, correct? Yes. They are opening business. Yes, like uh, accessories, cell phones, accessories. Yes. Oh. Yeah, and it, ne next to me, it, it's a, a Chinese business. Is that, what is the name? There's a famous Chinese store. Idol store? Idol, yes. <laughs> Idol oh. store is, is very near, but um, is in a cell phone business, so I don't well, remember the name. That idol store, man, like everybody, my wife buys from there. <laughs> yes. They have beautiful things, like really beautiful things. No, that's good. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, um, do you know what a class is, class? Class, do you know what a clause is? Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yes, I hear. Okay, do you know what a clause is? Because here it's a time clause. Okay, look, a clause is a group of words. It usually has a subject. Please remember this. Please remember clause. Clausulas, maybe it's called in Spanish. Please remember this because Van a haber muchas clauses, van a haber time clauses, if clauses, why clauses, future clauses. Pero clause is a group of words that has a subject and a verb. So in this case, when I was in high school, okay, so I is the subject, was is the verb. When I was in high school, I used to I used to be a troublemaker. I used to be a very good student. I used to be crazy. I used to be bad. I used to be good. Okay. And this is what we're going to do tomorrow, the grammar related to the clause. Let's see. And more videos. These three, three videos at the beginning of this class. Okay, tomorrow we're going to watch one more video and then we're going to start the grammar, okay? Okay. 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 Okay, then um, I will see you tomorrow then. Thank you. Have a good night. Okay, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night, good night everybody.